Again, this is a continuation of the uh, stripping video I made of, well, I didn't show myself stripping it, but of the SRK. I just wanted to compare some of my uh, cold steel knives to show you the differences in the steels. Um, they're all all say A. Uh, so you got your SRK, of course, I showed you just now in the last video. And then you have this monster that I do not carry. I just wanted it more for novelty than anything. Uh, actually, it's got a really solid lock on it, though. Um, it's the, Voyager, there's no blade plate, and I haven't tightened the pivot at all. It's the Voyager Tonto XL. <clears throat> so, and, it, and it's stone washed. It's just like the, uh, it's little brother. This is the clip point Voyager that I showed in the last video. Just wanted to show you the comparisons of steels and the way they looked. Um, then you have this monster, the Spartan. The Spartan's a satin finish, and this one I've, I wiped down, but it's, it's still got fingerprints, so... I wiped it down with some of that tough cloth, tough cloth that the seals supposedly use, uh, just to kind of keep it rust proof. So I noticed they are correct in the videos. If you've ever seen older videos on cold steel models, that the satin finish in the all say day does it. It's very prone to pitting, um, rust spots, um, not just rust in the whole blade, but just spots everywhere, especially here in Louisiana with the humidity. So that's why I wrote that one down. <clears throat> now, the two that I really wanted to show you that I didn't have for the last video is this is the Recon 1. Um, and you can see the, the difference. Is that put in the glare? Okay. So you, know, you see the difference in the Recon 1. This is the 4-inch the model. And, uh, and the way they look after they've been stripped. Um, I wanted to show you that just because these are the ones that are easy to strip. You can see the black here. I did not take the knife apart. But I mean, it's that easy. I mean, this probably takes 30 minutes. But you have to resharpen your blades after doing it. it I pretty much dulled all three of them after I done it. This is the American Lawman. Um, now this one I put a little more time into. I didn't take it apart, but I put more time into it to get all the black off once I you know, fold the blade and all that. But uh, you know, just to show you again differences in those and there's your blade thicknesses if you just wanted to know I mean 316.188 inch stock 3.5 millimeters and it's also 3.5 millimeter stock on your recon by the way the recon being that it has a longer blade and eh, I don't know if it's thicker or not maybe a little thick maybe a little wider I mean same thickness, 3.5 millimeters, but the recon comes open a lot faster than this one. And I think it's just because you have more blade and more heft to it. So just the, the force behind the, the swing of opening is really easy to open on one hand compared to this. And had I known that before, let's see, you really have to kind of, and I'm pretty good at opening knives. Uh, you got to get a little flick, a little wrist action. So uh, anyway, thanks again for watching and uh, tune in and subscribe. Thanks.